Yo, what's going on everyone? Nacho and Liz here. Hope you guys are having a good day today. Today, we're gonna show you guys how to pack for Japan for a whole year's worth with the intention of actually living there. So I'm gonna let Rizu take the reins and she's gonna explain to y'all exactly what she took. So here you go, Liz. Okay, so this is what I brought for a whole year. First, it's my work clothes and I brought a blazer and that's the skirt that goes with it. I really only wore this suit for about a week of training. So what I really brought for work were three pair of pants and five tops. I also made sure to bring two cardigans. And these are just my casual clothes. I brought a pair of jeans and a pair of black pants. I brought two short sleeve shirts and two long sleeve shirts. So these are my dresses. That one's actually a romper and that's just the basic dress. And this is more of a fancy dress, which I did wear one time. Next is my workout clothes. So I brought two dry fit shirts, one short sleeve and one long sleeve. And I also made sure to bring plenty of leggings. Also, those are my running shorts. For shoes, I brought a pair of shower sandals. Those are my yoga sling sandals my slip-on vans and those are my indoor work shoes and i also brought my running shoes on the plane so i didn't bring these but i do recommend some rain boots for typhoon season and i also didn't bring these i had some family members bring them and then take them back along with my hiking boots i had my visitors bring them and take them back so before i left i had made plans to climb mount fuji so i did pack some stuff for that I brought some hiking socks, a buff, a toe warmer, headlamp, a hat, and a water pack. So these are my winter clothes. I brought a pullover, a light rain jacket, and that's like my winter jacket. I also brought a couple scarves, some gloves, a headband, and also my pajama clothes, which are just big t-shirts, a pair of sweatpants, and some shorts. Next is my underclothes. I brought sport bra, regular bras, and a bunch of underwear. And that's the mesh bag that I put all my underclothes in. I also brought a bath towel, a beach towel, and a fast drying towel. I also brought one bathing suit and a bunch of socks. I also had pantyhose that I had to wear with my suit. Okay, so next is my toiletries. I brought shampoo and conditioner and a bar of soap. That's my curl cream, my face wash, deodorant, sunblock, my perfume, a toothbrush and tongue cleaner, and I also brought an extra toothbrush for work, and a little case for my toothbrush. That's my toothpaste and my razor, and my body scrub. And I just put everything in this clear bag. So I also brought some pads and panty liners. And next is my makeup. That's my makeup bag and inside I have a little lotion, some nail polish, a mirror with a little hairbrush, face cream, some makeup. That's bobby pins and hair bands, chapstick. And in that little bag, I keep all my things like nail clip and tweezers and stuff. So next is my medicine bag. So inside I keep cough drops and vitamin C packets. That's a sewing kit and my first aid kit. Antacids. And those are more medicines that I take. Also a little thing of tissues, vapor rub, a nasal spray, Pedialyte, a thermometer, Neosporin, cortisone, and that one is if I get cold sores and those are water earplugs. Next is electronics and that's my battery bank, my universal adapter, a three prong adapter, that's my luggage tag and my luggage weight. I also take some headphones, my phone charger, my phone and a flash drive and I also brought a laptop with its charger. Okay, so next is a little weird. I did bring some kitchen things and I only brought these items because I already had them um, before going to Japan. So I didn't want to purchase them again in Japan. 
so if you don't have these i would just wait till you get to japan to buy them and i didn't have any problems packing any of them i thought i would have problems with my knife but it was fine um, and also that little cup i use that for work in japan so in japan you actually brush your teeth after you eat lunch at work it's pretty normal so what most people do is you know they bring their toothbrush and they bring a little cup so they can rinse their mouth out at work so last is some extra things i did bring a notebook and a pen and i put all my important things in a sheet protector and that's my pencil pouch it has pens pencils erasers scissors and in that little bag i keep all my money my credit cards and of course my passport and that's a lint roller that you will need for your suit that's a jewelry box for all my necklaces and earrings and stuff so this is the bag that i took to work and that's my purse and this is my book bag that i used as my carry-on item on the plane all right so here i am packing all my things and i laid my suit down flat first which really helped to keep it from getting wrinkled and the rest of the clothes i just folded it some of it um i did roll it up it just depends like what kind of material the clothes is made of that's my liquid bag down there and i did want to mention about the toothpaste when i was doing research to move to japan a lot of people mentioned about bringing a lot of toothpaste so the reason they claimed to bring toothpaste was because toothpaste in japan has no fluoride i found this to not be true there's plenty of toothpaste in japan that has fluoride so i wouldn't pack uh, more than one tube also something that i think you should pack that i didn't show in this video is a roll of toilet paper and that's gonna help for when you first move there and move into your apartment so another thing that i recommend is to practice packing several times I practiced a lot of times and I eliminated a lot of things because you can only take so much and also make sure to weigh your luggage if you think it is over 50 pounds. 50 pounds is kind of like average of how much weight you can carry on most airlines. I had no trouble uh, going to Japan with what I took but when I left my bag was overweight multiple times so be sure to double check that. So one last thing is that you can take your PS4 with you. I didn't pack it in this suitcase. I actually packed it in my carry-on and I took it with me on the plane. All right, so that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this video could help you guys out with your future travel plans. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave this video a like. It would really help us out with the YouTube algorithm. Also stay tuned for more travel videos like this. So make sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Nacho Travel. And with all that out of the way, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you guys later. Peace.